Hello! Today I'm going to be sharing with you a jeweler's most powerful secret weapon, resilience. So to better illustrate this I thought I would share with you a past personal experience with a project where literally everything went wrong and how I dealt with what could have been a potentially catastrophic situation. Hi, my name is Lorna Romanenghi and I am a jewellery designer and maker. My work has been exhibited internationally and has won numerous awards along the way. Here, on my channel, I will take you by the hand, giving you VIP access to behind the scenes of the jewellery world, so you can feel more confident and educated when buying, commissioning or simply appreciating jewellery. To make sure you don't miss out on any new content, click the subscribe button below. Are you nice and comfortable? Well, let's begin. So, for the final project of my third year at university, I designed this neck piece. Yes, I kind of have a thing for large neck pieces. Anyway, it was a design that was all about the overmining problem that we are facing today, especially in areas like Africa and Asia, and it was centred around the commonly used phrase of let's put a veil over it which we use when we want to ignore something or when we're not comfortable dealing with it and we just want to pretend that it doesn't exist. So I designed this neck piece to unveil this problem by looking under the veil in my designs and revealing these gaps where gems and resources once were and only leaving one segment containing a stone which represents the scarcity of the resources we now have. So now that I had this concept design of these multiple pieces of veils that were unveiling this problem, I needed to now make the actual piece itself. So I started by making the model of the repeat segment in my neck piece, and I created a mould from it from which I produced 22 identical wax copies. I then carefully sprued them up on my tree, ready to get them cast, and I then assisted my technician in the preparation of the casts themselves. Everything up until this point seemed to be going perfectly. I was sprueing up my pieces, I would get them cast, I would get them back, I would clean them up, I would make the piece in plenty of time for my hand in. Little did I know what was expecting me round the corner. So up until this point I had planned everything meticulously and I was convinced that everything was going to go swimmingly. But I did not foresee the rogue air bubble that decided to somehow sneak into my cast, lie patiently in wait for the metal to be poured and then burst making my entire cast explode. So I just remember my technician walking up to me in the workshop with a very awkward smile and a please don't kill me face to tell me the bad news. He presented me with this exploded tree and I just remember taking it in rather a lot of shock and sitting at my desk and just staring at it for what felt like hours. I think I went through all the stages of grief in about 20 minutes but when it came to acceptance, it was still merged with a bit of defiance. And I just remember thinking, right, you think you're gonna ruin my piece? Well, think again, Buster. By this time, there was no chance of me doing another cast. It was too late in the day. So I just had to work with what I had and I was going to make it work for me. So the first thing I had to do was take stock of what I actually had at my disposal. So I had a look at what I could salvage from the casting itself and just laid all these pieces out in front of me. So I started playing around with loads of different ideas and different compositions. And as soon as I started doing that, I knew I was onto something. So I worked absolutely tirelessly for the next week. I was pulling 12 hour shifts in the workshop every single day and I was dealing with constant unforeseen problems and complications at every single turn. But along came the deadline and this is what I created. And you know what? I ended up loving it more than the original design itself because there was a fluidity and organicness from these botched pieces of the casting that I couldn't have ever designed. 
The organic shapes that had exploded and partially formed in the cast were something that I could have never foreseen or imagined. For all its trials and tribulations, I am still so happy that this catastrophe happened because every single thing that went wrong taught me a valuable lesson. It also taught me that there are such things as happy accidents. But above all else, it taught me the most valuable lesson of all. It taught me how to be resilient and how important that is, especially for a jeweler, but also how empowering and how amazing resilience can make you feel. So if I learnt nothing else from this, which I've already said I learnt plenty, plenty, plenty of lessons, but if nothing else, it taught me how to be resilient. And that is something I am incredibly grateful for. So I hope you've enjoyed this little story time and I hope that maybe it's made you think about the importance of resilience in your day-to-day -day life and how important that can be. So if you've enjoyed this video then why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? Your support means the world to me. And don't forget to click the notification button as well which will keep you notified to any new releases that I put out. If you have any questions or comments then please just leave them in the comment section below or if you would like to write to me directly then feel free to write to me on my social media at Lorna Design or through my website at lornaromanenghi.com. I would be more than happy to hear from you and answer any questions or address any issues. So thanks again for watching and see you next time.